Hey everyone, it's Ryan O'Rear from the Joint Movement DPTs. Excited to have you watch one of our videos. Megan is in Texas. I miss her dearly. She's gone down there for 10 weeks for clinicals, but then she'll be back and get to help me out on the RV, um, as this will be our home after we graduate our board, graduate from school, finish boards, and then head out to do travel PT. I, I do miss her. Um, she's my best friend, and so I can't wait until she gets back. It's gonna be a long 10 weeks. For now though, I have my brother Jason, who's manning the camera right now. But today, what we have is, um, we're gonna work on some water damage. And so um, the RV we bought used, it's a 1994, so there is some old leaks. And so as you can see up in the corner here, it's all dark and gross um, and my, a lot of the wood is rotted. I don't know if there's any mold in it yet so I will take certain precautions for that. Wearing gloves, safety glasses, I got a funny looking mask I'm gonna wear. And then hopefully after we remove the bad stuff we put in some new paneling, insulation, um, get it all sealed up and then hopefully we can work on resealing our windows as we do have some windows that are leaking so we want to reseal those and some products we have with that. All the products that I use in our videos, I will link down in the description. So go down there, click on them. We order a lot of stuff off Amazon. Um, Amazon's awesome. So go down there, you can click on it, and it'll take you directly to what we use to do some of our home uh, RV renovation repairs. I'm not an expert in this. It's kind of trial and error, kind of learn as we go. Um, so just follow along and learn from my mistakes. Alrighty, we're about to do, we're about to rip into the wall here. I have my mask, I have my gloves, long sleeves, um, we've kind of cut off some of the airflow in here um, so those, if there is mold in there, those spores don't get flying airborne. Um, so take safety precautions and we're going to try not to stir it up too much. We're going to use our, we're going to use our Stanley knife, our X-Acto knife to kind of cut through a little bit and then see if we can pull it off piece by piece. Um, and then anything we can scrape off, we're going to try that. And we'll put in some black trash bags, solid black trash bags. Um, we also have our eyeglasses gear because um, you don't want this stuff to get in your eyes. And if we can't exacto knife off a majority of it, then I'll break out the power tools. And so here we go. Okay guys, so we got the frame off on the inside um, and I've taken off some of the ceiling uh, around the window. Uh, there was very little bit of it, that's probably why we had a leak in the window. Um, but now I'm about to pull the window out of the, off the RV um, and then hopefully get that cleaned up and put back in and resealed. So here we go. RV. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, so now we're at the window again using our cleaner, using our rag and our sponge, and we're just going to clean off the edges um, so those are nice and clean so when we put the window back in that the butyl tape will adhere to the side and give us a nice clean seal around the window so we have no more leaks. So no more leaks is a good thing. So Megan told me while she's gone to Texas for 10 weeks to do all the things that weren't fun on the RV. So uh, any interior design stuff, yeah, I'm not allowed to touch because that's fun. So I'm definitely doing the harder stuff, the not fun stuff, like scrubbing this window for a very long time to get all the adhesive off of. So much joy. Also mold removal, that's always a good time, you know. I might die, get sick from it. Who knows? So, great time. Now we're about to, so now we're about to add our butyl tape to um, the inside of the metal frame of our window. And so I'll put in um, the links below the video um, what kind of butyl tape I have, the Diacor product. Um, so I'll add those Amazon links. Uh, but what, how it works is that this just peels off and you stick it to the window and then the adhesive part or the backing you'll peel off right before we go to actually stick it back on the RV. Um, and so we have cleaned these, this framing all the way out. Um, and so now we'll just add that butyl tape in there. Um, we removed the old butyl tape. It was pretty worn and torn, uh, the original stuff of the RV. And so we'll redo that um, and then get this window back in there. We have our wall kind of cleaned off here um, and cut our margins. We went to Home Depot and got the paneling uh, that we need, and so we cut that down, took a few tries, um, but we got that to how we want it. We'll get to put this wall's paneling up, and then we'll start on this wall and uh, get it on there. It looks like we'll probably use some type of adhesive spray glue. Um, that's what they used um, to put the walls in, and so we'll just replicate that. We actually get to keep the styrofoam or the insulation. It's a styrofoam, which is good for RVs because it uh, water resistance. It's a lot better water resistance than your residential insulation. So hopefully we can get that up so we can get this window back in, in here so no critters or rain gets in. Thanks for watching this video and if you enjoyed it and want to follow Megan and I's journey as we become full-time RVers, as we renovate our RV Big Betty and become traveling physical therapists, um, please hit that subscribe button and follow in with us. Also, feel free to comment below. We love reading comments, um, various tips on RV life, um, tips from people who are in the traveling healthcare professions. 
um, or just maybe some ideas for our RV renovation. We love reading those. We love connecting with you. So hopefully we get to connect with a few of you guys out there, whether it's on the road or online. Um, hopefully we can inspire some of you guys. Maybe some do-it-yourself projects you have at home. Maybe you have an RV that you're renovating. Hopefully we can be an inspiration um, just to get out there and start doing something. Do something that you love. Um, and so again, hit that subscribe button. We would greatly appreciate it. And until next time, see ya.